care of my babes. It's a little cold out here. Don't worry, I'll keep you warm. Please don't set our onions on fire. My babes. I know what you're thinking. Old Eddie, what happened to your onion fingers? Well, I had to cut them because it was unhygienic. These are my babes. I take care of them during the off season. It's how I grow my new onion fingers. Having trouble sleeping, babes? I sing you a lullaby. Hang on. I can't see the strings. Hang on. <laughs> You were starting something with knock alert and kicking geese. Starting going world three. Ah, well that sounds good to me. Ah, bloodbath. Ah, lots of onions to mop it up with. Ah, I tell you what, I got a little contract for you to sign just like last time. You ain't need to worry about them weight loss surgeons or doxing, none of that. I just sign right here. I help it all go the way. What's that? You're a gardener? You here to harvest my babes? Oh, I don't think so. Ha! Dundee extinguished my flame. Get out of here. I gotta take care of my babes. What are you still doing? Hello, and welcome back to the cult. I mean, you guys have to realize. Everybody take a cup. Just kidding. Welcome to the cold. <laughs> what is life? What is life? <coughs> Today we're here to talk about Amber's new admittance of lying about her weight loss surgeon last year. Ooh. That's right, during Amber's last vlog, she brought up that narc alert and kicking geese caused her to somehow inadvertently lose her chance at having weight loss surgery. Come on. <laughs> this after an alleged doxing, in Amber's words, of her weight loss surgeon here in Kentucky. But hey, this is coming from Drunk Lynn, so... Who knows what's true? Was Narc Alert and Kicking Geese out of line in their actions? Was it Amber who actually doxed her own surgeon? And can you even dox a public business? It's up for you to decide. You know, there are a lot of us in the Amberverse. Some of us drive luxury vehicles and some of us ride on unicycles. Me, I drive a Volvo station wagon, so if you're ready, dip your pin in onion juice and sign that contract because we are headed back towards the Amberverse. Working on this editing might take a couple hours Make some bagels taste sour, then I take a shower Here we go again Amazon unboxing till it makes me feel better Then I'll cover up the comments like some stretches in my sweater Ready? Ain't felt this good since I broke up with Becky I get my torrid on, I'm feeling sexy like Miss my pill reminders cause I'm on too many meds Yeah, I gotta stay in bed, but I'm feeling good <laughs> I don't do my taxes, I might need some help I don't plant a garden, I get lettuce off the shelf I don't want to work hard, I just want the clout I don't like my girlfriend, so I switch them out I don't wear a seatbelt, it only slows me down When I order Uber Eats, I gotta have the hash browns Yeah, I got a couple lawsuits, I had to leave town I don't have a license, my mom drives me around Target haul, Torrid haul, don't check the price, I got it That money stacking up like those calories I counted We're starting off today's video very strong with Drunk Lynn that's right, Drunk Lynn. She's back. Trading around. Said she hasn't had a drink in a while. I'm not sure I believe that. Amber says she spent most of the day hanging out with her mom, but then went to a friend's house, an unknown friend, sure did. and had a little too much to drink. I'm not sure who that friend is, but I think uh, could very well be that she just got drunk with her mom. Nonetheless, when Amber gets back, she takes her lime-flavored nails and rips them all off one by one. <laughs> making a pretty rough go on those nail beds of hers. We get a scene transition to a different day in which Amber says she gets her nails redone in this chrome silver. Do not touch the trim. Side note, Amber ripping off her own nails is a little weird considering the fact that she's been going to a nail salon to have this work professionally done. If that were the case, why would she need to rip her own nails off if she was just gonna go there the next day? I wouldn't be surprised if she just did these herself and then just lied about it. It'd be a lot less effort, right? Well, would it be? What's less effort? Amber getting to the nail salon or Amber doing the nails herself? Or maybe her mom did them. Hmm, we don't know. But I guess that's the point, right? <laughs> Double side note, these pointed nails make Amber look much more like the cat lady from Codename Kids Next Door. This house is so lonely. Editing Lynn strikes again with a voiceover moment, as she says, but I tell you what, man, this voiceover was way too loud. Damn near blew my ears off. 
whenever I was listening to this vlog. Come on, Amber. So I'm about to take my hair down. I want to show you guys just how much better it looks. Hello, hello, for a little voiceover moment. I'm not gonna lie to you when I watch this clip. That was a fun edit to do. Okay, back to the video. Amber says the haircut that she gave herself the other day was not uneven, but only looked uneven because her head was tilted sideways. <laughs> Amber says she thinks she did a really good job cutting it. <laughs> In this section, we'll move on to the real meat and potatoes of today's video, the narc alert and kicking geese accusations of doxing, all that jazz. Freeform jazz. <laughs> So I might do another video about this later, kind of going over the full details. But as far as I know, last year, whenever Amber was going through the weight loss surgery, she posted a letter from that clinic. That letter contained a logo of the clinic. This logo was then back searched and the exact weight loss surgery clinic and doctor was found out for all of Amber's audience to see. This, according to Amber, was all done by the likes of Narc Alert. Hey Sam, what are you doing? What's up? Okay, you, what? I love you. What do you want? What do you, go on. This, according to Amber, was all done by the likes of Narc Alert and Kicking Geese in an effort to sabotage her weight loss surgery chances. What? And this is where things get a little weird for me. It's a new angle for Amber from what I've seen. Amber says that she then lied about her weight loss surgeon giving out a fake name and clinic in an effort to steer her audience narc alert and kicking geese away from her personal life she says i lied because i was trying to protect myself i'm actually a youtuber and that means i have a lot of fans and some of them are a little stalkery and enters victim lynn victim lynn has entered the damn chat once again amber says the reason she didn't tell us sooner is because that would just confirm her weight loss surgeon and everyone would know more like it would confirm that she was lying to us. Now, as far as the subreddit's going down, I'll really have to gather more information. Amber claims that it was Narc Alert that got the subreddits taken down for gloating about finding the weight loss clinic. If that's true, that could be construed by Reddit as personal info, posting personal info of Amber's, even though that's not really personal info. Hey. I do want to remind everyone that the subreddits being taken down happened during the heat of the Kiwi Farms backlash. Y'all remember that? Everyone was attacking Kiwi Farms and Reddit for being too mean, basically. And a lot of different subreddits went down. Many others are still up, though, including Kiwi Farms, so... Huh? I don't know why any of that happened, because nothing came of it. We got scooters. We got scooters. At least that's what it seems like. Aside from that, there was good reason to believe that Amber and Jade were using sock <laughs> accounts to infiltrate the different subreddits and people's channels that they didn't like so they could issue false flags. This done in an effort to gain information and leverage over the community. Jade having a very public legal record, that didn't really help things much at all either. But back on subject, Amber says, and I quote, I know that was me lying, but that was me trying to protect my medical personal life. That's funny because I figured the best way to protect yourself from people is to, you know, not show important information to them. But Amber says that only happened because she was just being so open. She didn't dox her own doctor. She was just being so open with us. Oh, she's such a good person. So quirky. Amber gives a last message to not send any hate or disparaging messages to Narc Alert or Kicking Geese, <laughs> which is just hilarious because this whole video is basically a big target towards them. Conclusion. Whether or not Narc Alert and Kicking Geese doxed or didn't dox a public business, the main question is this. Why would this affect Amber's weight loss surgery? The answer is it wouldn't at all. Oh. And I have no idea why Amber keeps bringing this up as if it's Narc Alert's fault or something. The only person whose fault this is is Amber's. Ooh. And if you're thinking, well, whether or not that happened, Amber was the one who had to deal with her personal life being doxed, right? Consider this. Well, listen to this. The information that was allegedly doxed was that of a public business that publicly advertises their practice. They want people to know what they do. So while the question of can a public business be doxed is up for you to decide, 
If I owned that business, I'd be saying this. Keep the phone lines ringing, boys. We just got a hell of a PR Sunday. But hey, that's just my opinion. If you look to your right, old Eddie Onion Fingers will be standing in the garden with a candle to help you out of the Volvo station wagon. But don't touch his babes. My babes. And you'll be back at home safe and sound in no time. I'd like to thank everyone for watching this special episode of You Guys Have to Realize and remind everyone that these videos are put up for entertainment purposes only. Please do not send any hateful or disparaging remarks to myself or anyone mentioned in these videos. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. How many miles can you fight all night? Can you sleep all day? In the darkness, I can help you find your way. And when you're down, I know exactly what to say. Just trust me some. Had to go freak out the dog for a sec. Kind of bless. Keep those candles away from Amber, if you know what I mean. Ah, my babes. <laughs> <laughs> Those are your babies. These are my babes. I heard you starting some beef with knock alert and kick and grease, and you need to. <clears throat> <laughs> What the hell is even that? Let's go inside before someone calls the police. Stop right there, criminal scum!